okay, everybody, this grace, and I survived. Yeah, I had been ill, for sick, ill, which one is it? For 36 hours, and at the end of it, I uh, was thinking I need to run a resort for Vic for survivors of narcissistic abuse. Yeah, I'll get it out in a minute. But it was like, what? What kind of thought was this? But it, there's a story behind it. Like I said, I was sick for 36 hours, violently ill at the beginning. Uh, I don't know if it was just some kind of like, you know, people have a 24 hour bug, you know? I'm an overachiever like that. Mine was 36. So I slept most of it. I do have vague memories of things that happened in those 36 hours. Um, and like one of them was me thinking about how I wanted to change my channel. Okay. And at first I was thinking I wanted to change it for what I was doing. Um, uh, what I was planning on doing was to go out to the out to the country and look at property, take a little mini vacation for myself and just as usual I don't believe in jinxes but having a jinx life but as usual something happened that stopped me from going and I was thinking you know I want, I've been thinking for a long while now I want to buy some property a little house you know like a little summer retreat or something like that and that's what I was planning on doing was to look for it so that's probably why it came up at the end of a dream okay this morning you know, have a resort for, you know, survivors of narcissistic abuse. Yeah, that was kind of interesting. But last night I had been thinking about um, changing my channel more to think, you know, to talk about recovery, you know, from abuse, you know, from abuse. And, but it's such, it's, I was thinking it's such a personal thing. It's personalized. You know, one size doesn't fit all. And, um, you know, how, it, it really takes a qualified professional you know, to sit there and know, you know, know the people, know the stories, um, you know, at least one of the people, um, you know, the client, and to gear the client right, and to be there for the client whenever they go through a lot of, you know, a lot of issues like resentment and anger, and uh, help guide them, you know, in a direction, a, a positive direction, and I was thinking about that. And then, I, you know, like I said, I'd been sick and I basically s slept for almost all of 24 hours of it. And um, I had this this dream and that's what, at the end of the dream was, that's what I needed to do is to have that resort for survivors of narcissistic abuse. Okay, let me get on with this. You know, have you ever really thought about what if there was a retreat for survivors of narcissistic abuse and you can say well maybe there are great retreats resorts you know uh, you know like the but people who you know have dr drug addictions they go to you know rehab or something and um, I guess that's that's when their family they get a little retreat or resort or whatever but you know what I mean? I, I think about it, and it wouldn't be a bad idea. But then I started thinking, when I woke up, you know, as I started waking up more, that yeah, you know, you have a lot of people who have been through it. Would that be a good idea? And would, would that really be a good thing? Because everybody's working through their issues, you know, at different stages of working through them. Still, I think that would be a good idea. Has anybody ever heard of anything like that? <laughs> really now? But hey, my mind was active after being asleep for that much time, you know? Yeah. Okay. And I didn't mention the other part of my dream was that I was way out in the country and I was helping a young woman get home and we were to her home and we were walking out in the country and so why are we walking? Why don't we go back and get my truck? And I don't own a truck but in real life, but in the dream I did. And at the end of it I was asking her, you know, I hate to ask you, but what's your ethnicity? You know, I couldn't figure it out. And I don't know what that was about. And one of my uh, my family members that I've gone no contact with, and she was in the dream with her paycheck sitting on the table. And I was curious and told myself, don't look at it when she walked away. But then it fell on the floor. And I said, I'm going to look at it anyway. <laughs> so when I pick it up, it was 4000 something dollars, 4300 something. I said, there's no way she could earn that. It was just a big step dream. Yeah. So, but anyway, back to that topic. 
you know, I do want to change my channel. I do want it to make it different. And you don't need to see the top of my hood of my SUV, but you know, make, need to make it different. And um, because getting to me, getting stuck too much in just the knowledge stage, um, not good. Uh, to me, that's to me. That's just my opinion, you know. But yeah. Anyway, I'll wrap this up. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.